Okay, this is the Hugh John Fleming Bridge, which is the old Trans Canada, as we go into Heartland, New Brunswick, home of the world's largest covered bridge. But you can see it through the arch. Which I believe you can see through the arch. I just can't see it. I'm looking, but oh yes, okay, yep, you can see it through. Okay, so. That's the covered bridge there. We're going to drive down into town and see it better. shopping plaza of the grocery store. Tim Hortons Chinese restaurant. In the summer there's a walking trail here over this little creek. A little picnic area overlooking the covered bridge. building is the library, Dr. Walter Chestnut Library. Day and Ross on the left is a major trucking company. And this is basically Main Street Heartland. There's a bit of a plaza here with a grocery store. Covering up, 1,282 feet, I think it says. The world's longest covered bridge. It's also single lane, so we have to wait until these people come through. It also has a spot on the side that you can walk through. If you decide to do that, watch out for spiders. Yeah. When you go through, you can see the other bridge, the Hugh John Fleming Bridge. There aren't actually openings. You're just seeing this through the, the uh, spaces between the boards. the St. John River. This side is called Somerville. We'll just go up here and turn and go back through. We were just north of Heartland and the river is open, which is unusual for February. But it's still frozen down here. I'm 
not sure if it's still open, but in the summer this used to be a gift shop. Right in here. It says clearance items, so I think she must still operate it. That's Bonnie Orser's place. Okay, here's a nice view of the bridge. And the sign's clear on this side. 1,282 feet. Sprinkler system in so people can burn it oh, down. There's a sprinkler system so that people won't burn it down. Crazy people. This is the side with the walking uh, part. Courtyard commerce area here. We've got a bank, grocery store. Used to be a restaurant, but I don't think there is anymore. When you come in the summer, this tourist area over here has parking for the bridge so you can get out and take all kinds of good pictures. A lot of people come here on bus tours from all over Canada. And I think they have a little gift shop in here too. Yes, it says gift shop. That was a nice spot to get out and walk around and take it all in. And also important when you're traveling, they've put in, just this past year or so, a nice set of new washrooms. So that was the main area of the, the town. This is still Main Street, but it's all residential now. Much prettier in the summer. Can see the river. There's some of these stone houses along here. There's a couple more in there. I believe there used to be a factory here where they made these bricks, so that's why you see several houses made of them. the river again, frozen over. around the industrial park. Osprey nest on the telephone. This is a community garden they have there in the summer too where people 
come to grow their vegetables. Manufacturing, one of the bigger businesses. This is a good place to get your tires. I got tires there one year at a good price. Dutch. This is a potato chip factory. snow with these snow banks but actually this is probably only about half of the amount of snow we would normally have in February. There's Valley Equipment. So now we're coming back into the residential areas. is being built over here. This is Rockland Road, which leads out into the country, but when we turn and go back, it takes us right back into Heartland. The manor is up here, I believe on the left. senior citizens and then up here is the well, I'd say new high school but it's actually been there quite a few years big community so nice playground for the kids advantage of living in Heartland is it's a very small town but you're also only 10 minutes from Woodstock which has Walmart and Superstore and Sobeys Kent Canadian Tire all the main stores also, the hospital is halfway between Heartland and Woodstock, so you're close to the hospital. Then you have the beautiful view of the St. John River, and you can drive across the world's longest covered bridge anytime you like. Just looking back towards 
Looking back towards Heartland, but the houses on the other side of the hill there are actually the Somerville side. See over the drifts. So these are your two basic routes through Heartland. This Rockland Road goes down and hits Main Street. Back at the manor again. There's also a, an arena over and behind there where we used to have uh, trade shows regularly that were fun to come up to, but that was before COVID. These houses here are all new. Oh, they put in a whole little subdivision here. Because this is the road out to the arena. None of this was here a few years ago. Ball field. I think this was like double the population of Heartland. <laughs> this one little section here. Crazy. Okay, continuing on Rockland Road. Where the high school used to be before they moved it out where we just were. More residential up that way. You could right away. And down here is the post office. We're almost back to Main Street, so we're coming up on the back side of that plaza. There's a town hall, post office, back side of Dan Ross. This is where the parking is for that courtyard plaza. I guess it's not a restaurant anymore, now it's a lawyer's office. There used to be a restaurant in there. library again. Stores frozen on here. Oh, no, it's open. In the middle. And we're back to where we started with Tim Hortons. Irving gas station 
which I believe this is the only gas station in Heartland. Here we got the grocery store and the pharmacy. I think I got it. So I decided actually just to add a little to it. This is over on the Somerville side. This is more of Day and Ross, which is a major trucking company. We're gonna go by the hospital. In a minute, that's it up, up ahead there. Upper River Valley Hospital, but we just call it the Water Bowl Hospital because this is Water Bowl. We often see a lot of deer along here. You might be able to make out the tracks in the snow. main entrance to the hospital here. This is the Trans-Canada Highway, which we'll be getting on in a minute. This exit has a subway and a Burger King and a gas station. It's an Irving. It also has a dog park. There's a distillery here, which I think we have tours. So my aunt went there once. Again, it might have been before the pandemic. Here's the subway in Burger King. And there's a nice fenced in area there, a dog park for your pooch to get out and stretch his legs when you're traveling. It's all fenced in nice. And then this over here is another um, potato chip factory, the Covered Bridge, Covered Bridge Potato Chip Factory. And they're kind of capitalizing on the largest covered bridge back in Heartland, which this is like five minutes from Heartland. So this is, if I can get it zoomed in and pick it up, it's not picking it up. It says, welcome, you are now entering the shortest covered bridge in the world, 24 feet. They give tours too of the factory, in the summer at least, if they do. Yeah, I see that ice hanging down there, obviously they don't. Ooh. I don't know if it's not insulated good or maybe it's just from all the steam I suppose coming out. So now you've seen the world's longest covered bridge and the shortest covered bridge. Now we're going to get back on the Trans-Canada. Oh, no, I guess we're driving over first so you can see the chip factory better. Oh, yep, it says factory tours and gift shop. We'll have to come up someday and do that. Heartland, New Brunswick, and a little bit of the surrounding area. Just one more shot there of the, the shortest covered bridge in the world. You can see it from the side. It's got little windows in it. It's got little windows in it there. Just if you can just stop for a second, right? Oops, sorry for the shake. And there we go. Okay.